But, uh, and by the end of that, you know, they've really achieved, you know, running that whole mile. And we'll talk more about, you know, having fun and, uh, you know, trying to do that. This triathlon is different. It isn't a com competition against other triathletes. It's a race against yourself. The trainers time each triathlete and give them their time to beat for next week. Um, my dad made a simple brochure and took it to the local church, and they approved it. Um, he took the brochure to the local sportsplex to reserve the pool. The sportsplex director loved the idea and gave each kid a discount who signed up. Yeah, so this idea really gets interesting around here because Pastor Wolf got the support of the church and he got the location, but he needed the funds oh, to give the bikes away to the kids. That's a lot of money for a lot of bikes. And so he prayed that God would show him what to do. And so he took some of the brochures, like you see here, to local businesses. And he told the local businesses about his plan of giving away 50 bikes to kids in the community. And that they would train for six weeks, and then they'd earn the bike. Now, over the last 10 years, the youth triathlon has now given away about 500 bikes. So that's really, you know, shot up a lot. Uh, before we get started, um, our triathlon, we pray with the triathletes. Have a health talk based on a Bible story. And during the six weeks, we teach the eight laws of health. I have so much technology, I keep forgetting to click there. No, okay, there we go. Um, so after the health nugget, we do a warm up and we do a stretch. And then we pray for the protection over the triathletes before the training. And that's just really giving them, you know, a spiritual connection because some of these kids have never prayed before. <laughs> and so really, you know, introducing them to spiritual things, you know, by having fun is just a great way to do outreach. Uh, we train for six weeks so that we can build a friendship with the kids. Their parents and grandparents who come out to the training. While the triathletes are swimming, biking, and running, the trainers talk to the parents to get to know them. We encourage the trainers to share their testimony over the six-week period with the parents who come. Yeah, and those parents are really a crucial part of it, and we'll talk more about that in the breakout. But anyway, and so when the triathletes uh, cross the finish line, um, so yeah, so... Uh, the week before the race, we have a picnic together, and we really build a lot of relationships. We talked about, you know, going to the different businesses and getting sponsors. So what you're doing there is you're letting those businesses know that there's an Adventist church in this community because, you know, we don't really get a lot of public or publicized like the Methodists or those guys, but, you know, we're uh, letting them know that the Adventist church is in the community and that we care for the kids and we want to better serve the community. And so we have these picnic luncheons a uh, week before the race and we have the parents come and the sponsors come and we just have a great time of fellowship, building connections. And uh, it's just a wonderful way, like we said, to outreach and to do ministry. When the triathletes cross the finish line and the trainers give them a medallion, we have become their friends. And so we have over 50 businesses supporting the triathlon each year. The local business owners learn that the SDA church cares about the health of their young people in the community and that they want to better serve the community. And like we said, we're going from being, you know, that little church in the cornfield that everybody drives past to now, oh yeah, that's the church that, you know, does the youth triathlon. They give away the free bikes. So you're really getting to be well known in the community by doing this. But I mean, to be honest, how would you like to have fun sharing your faith with kids who come to you every summer? And see, those are the two crucial points. They come to you, and you have fun doing it. So that's why I think this is a great uh, event. And so what you're doing, what you're doing during those uh, six weeks is um, you train on two events each week. And so like we mentioned, we'll have a stretch and everything. And then we'll either do, uh, we'll practice swimming, we'll do a swim and a run, or we'll do a bike and a run. Um, in those six weeks leading up to our triathlon. Most kids have never done a triathlon before, and that's okay. This is a beginner's triathlon with the goal of developing healthy habits for kids over the six weeks we train with them. We tell them that it's not a race against your competitors, but a race against themselves. Yep, and so we love seeing the smiling faces as they cross the finish line because, you know, they've trained... There's the smiling face. Um, They've trained so much um, for this, and finally crossing that finish line, you know, they've completed a whole lot. And uh, it's just a wonderful um, time to celebrate with them. And, you know, now they have something to look forward to next year. 
the local newspaper writes about the SDA church, uh, well, what the SDA church is doing to help our youth. Um, every triathlete who completes the race gets a medallion. We believe every kid is a winner. The smile they have on their face, the memory you're putting in their minds is worth it all. When you put a medallion around a kid's neck, you have made a friend. By investing in youth, we are investing in our future leaders. I personally spent 10 years as a triathlete, um, well, nine years, and then my last year, I, uh, I, I was a trainer, so, yeah. Yeah. And so we want to help you have fun making winners of the kids in your community. We want to have more outreach in the cities in the Lake Union. And you'll see, well, where we do them um, in the next slide here. But, you know, if you're interested in this, it's very low cost, as we saw. You're putting, like, hardly anything into it. Um, and it's just such a great outreach because you're getting the whole community involved. Um, and we'll talk a little bit in a second. We don't have much time left. But... Uh, We'll have a breakout today at 4.15 in the Locust Room. So what time are we breaking out? And where? Okay. And we'll keep on. Um, so these are all the locations that uh, have done our ministry. Okay. Oh, I'll keep going. Okay. I'm gonna stand, I'll stand here and smile. Okay. okay. I was afraid there for a second. I wasn't sure what's going to happen. I don't know. Anyways, so we started at Gaylord my hometown, or used to be my hometown. We did it for three years. Um, we also did it in Elma for two years, and they're planning to do it again this year. Montcom has been doing it for eight years, Globals did it for a year, and Detroit is planning on starting this year. And we want to help any church in our Lake Union to start this ministry. Mm -hmm. And you know, just because you know Michigan is our greatest state in the Midwest here, greatest state in the Lake Union, it doesn't have to be just Michigan. Other states can do it. <laughs> So, you know, we want to see Shipshawana, I don't know what other cities you have in Indiana, whatever. You're welcome to do this. So, so we want to get other churches involved, other cities involved. Uh, apparently, I talk again, too. So we don't want you to have to reinvent the wheel on this one. We're going to give you a lot of resources. Um, we have a website that you can use, and we have so many free, emphasis on free resources, that you can help uh, do this in your community. And my dad has written books to help you be successful all across our union. I'm aware of that. Okay. We have also started a YouTube channel to help train triathlon organizers. We hope to see you in our breakout session at... And the... Okay. And uh, about starting a triathlon in, say, your city. Um, and so if you want to help reach young people's young, young family, um, partner with local businesses, come to our breakout group. Thank you very much.